No, normally when I go camping and I've had a lot of alcoholic drinks and in the middle of the night I wake up and I have to walk all the way across the campsite to the toilets. I'm so glad I bought the portable one. It's the best thing I've ever bought. Good morning guys, how you all doing? I'm uh, just wandering around with Harley for his morning walk. I've come down a bit further than I normally do because the other day I saw this hill and since then all I wanted to do is walk up it. That's what I'm doing this morning. And yes, I've got my thick coat on and my hoodie because it's a bit on the cold side. If you look here there's a car park of a sorts. According to Pete there's quite a few of them. And he says all you do is you park up and go for a walking one through the woods. A bit like I say I want to go up this hill. The reason I haven't done it already is because I was always on a time limit to get my breakfast, get washed, dressed, whatever, and then meet up with the others. I'm not doing that today. I've got plenty of time. So I'm just gonna have a wander up. There's probably nothing to see but more trees. <laughs> see, just trees. I'm only kidding. I've come to the top, I've seen animals over there, cows and bulls. I better not go too close because Harley's off the lead at the moment. Just uh, checking out this landscape. No wonder it's quiet on the campsite. There is literally nothing around apart from trees and fields. It's brilliant. See the campsite over there. What I'm interested in is, what is that over there? Let's have a look. Right there. Some sort of old building. I've no idea what it is. I also have no idea if you can hear me or not because it's very windy up here. Anyway, I'm going to go back to the tent, have some breakfast, get washed, I've not done that yet. And then we're off on another adventure. Well, I doubt you guys can hear me at all, but I'm here at High Cliff. It's beautiful. As you can see, we're next to the sea, we're on the coastline. Over there is supposedly Christchurch, where I was yesterday with the others. I think this place is called High Cliff because the cliffs are pretty high. <laughs> According to the map and from what I've seen of signs, there's supposed to be a castle around here somewhere, so I'm going to go look for it. it. really is windy. So apparently according to maps, the castle is way over this way. It's a good 15-20 minute walk. I've only put an hour on the meter, so I brought Harley down to the beach instead. <laughs> He's happy about that. And then uh, once I get back to the car, I'll drive over and see if I can spot it in the car. And then I'll move on to the next place. For now, I'm just enjoying walking around here. Found it right here. This is the back end with the gardens and whatnot. There is a car park back there, but I want to move on. And I'm a cheapskate, as you know. Just want to quickly have a look at this. It's a nice castle. Looks like it's still in use, perhaps. Looks more like a church than a castle. But, uh, yeah, this is the front end, right here. It's beautiful. Anyway, time to move on. Well, according to the map, I'm supposed to be at Shawfield Country Park, except it's not the type of country park that I'm used to. It's more like a, a caravan site. <laughs> uh, never mind. So I'm going to look for other places. So I'm here at Key Haven. As you can see, it's a fishing village. You can even go out on fishing trips here. And also a ferry to a castle just over there. Can't really make it out to be quite honest because it's so far away. And there are only two ways of getting there. You can either take a ferry or as these people are doing, I don't know if you can see them, walk all the way down there. I'm not in the mood for that. <laughs> Besides it's now quarter one. How has it got to quarter one already? No wonder I'm getting hungry. Oh, and one other thing. I'm pretty certain that landmass over there is the Isle of Wight. I think. Anyway, I need to move on. I can feel rain starting and I'm getting hungry. So I'm now in a town called Limington. Not really sure what's around here. Noticing a few shops. Good. Hopefully I'll find something to eat. Well, I found the main street, I believe. Lots and lots of shops. So hopefully I'll find something to eat. I've just spotted something. My cousin Simon's son, Rowan. There's a shop there with his name on it. <laughs> just 
coming down this cobble street. And apparently there's a key nearby. Guess I'm gonna find out. Check it out. Key. Wow. I wasn't expecting this and then I saw the ferry and then I was like, of course this is where you get the ferry to the Isle of Wight. Well, one of the places anyway. It's uh, really nice around here. I'll have to get some pictures. By the way, that sun is burning my head. I like it. Finally got something to eat. Chicken mayo and a coffee. Right here next to the quayside. It's a bit pricey, but I'm hungry. As you can see, I'm at the marina and look at how many boats there are. There are so many. I've never seen so many in one area before. I could just see like dozens of masts over there. <laughs> There's quite a few for sale here. Yeah, they're awesome. You know what's not awesome? This cloud is about to rain. My raincoat, it's in my car. Check it out, I found a shop I can bring Harley in. Awesome. That rain, it's subsided one way, so now it's red hot and sunny. I've had to put my hoodie around my waist. It's very warm outside. I like it. The nice church right here in the middle of town. I'm not sure how many more shops there are. I'm gonna start making my way back the other way to the car soon. My ticket runs out in half an hour. Mm. And even though the last cloud went the other way, I'm keeping an eye on the others. Finally bought something, Red Dwarf Series 8. Been trying to get them all on DVD. But now we're heading back to the car. We're gonna move on to the next destination, which is Lepe Country Park. Check it out. We've got this wonderful view. At least this country park is actually a country park. Look at that. A lot of sailboats out there. Wonderful. That's got to be the island of Anyway, I'll put my rain coats on because I've got a feeling it will rain. Let's see what's here. So I've just come up some steps there to see a fallen tree there and follow this park. There's a kids' park there. It looks like there's a lot of walks that you can do around here. But Harley and I are going to go that way. Anyway, I don't want to stray too far because it's now four o'clock and uh, I want to get back soon. Especially if it starts raining. You know I had to <laughs> come down on this out here, but I think the tide's starting to come in. Which is not good because I've got a feeling it'll come over there before it comes over this bit. I'm just noticing all that rain way over there in the distance. And I'm trying to figure out what these buildings are. <laughs> yeah, that tide is definitely coming in. Can't <laughs> get across quick. He's totally oblivious. Yeah, that's definitely coming in. That wasn't covered about a minute ago. Phew, that was close. This is interesting. D-Day Lepe. During World War II, Lepe and the surrounding area played an important role, especially in the preparations for D-Day and the Normandy landings in 1944. Yeah. Interesting. So that's what all of these things are here. Huh. They look very rusty. Huh. Yeah, all this stuff here. Wow. You know what that means, don't you? It's historic. I have to touch it. There we go. Uh, looks like it goes on forever. So I think I'm going to start heading back now. Yep, it's raining and I'm wet. Not from the rain, but from sweat because I had to put my coat on. But it looks like it's about to get quite heavy. It's now five to five and I need to set off. I've got some place to be. I made it. I'm here with Pete, Archie, Nick and Eileen. I saw you waving in my video the other day. Were it yesterday or the other day? In background, I saw you waving in on my video. <laughs> and of course, Jojo. And somebody's making me a coffee. I need it because I'm worn out. Now we're in a pub. And I'm about to eat all of that. It's a good thing I'm hungry. And I'm back in my dark hole again. <laughs> Said goodbye to the others went round for a coffee after the pub and just like me they go home tomorrow but i think they're 
just going straight home. I'm not. I think I'm going to go a few places first. Maybe. I think this is the latest I've ever come by. It's now five past ten. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm going to get you guys edited, I think. That noise is Harley eating his supper. Anyway, guys. He's so noisy with that. Thanks for watching and subscribing if you have. Until tomorrow, peace out. You know something? All those DVDs I bought, I don't have much space in the car. I'm going to have to make some room for them. <laughs>